because you have a lot of bracelets and jewelries with skulls. Yeah. And sculptures. But what do you think is exciting with this kind of art? Do you think people like this kind of art in their houses or in their offices? I don't know, but I like it. But was it hard to paint on this kind of material? I yes, mean, this is yes. silk. I have to paint maybe five layers. Yeah. Every every uh, piece of it. Yeah. Because it uh, it's uh, went just through. Yeah. But it's a beautiful dress. Yeah. Very beautiful dress. And stiff. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, and you also did this one. Yeah. Uh, I had uh, Annika here last week, the model who was uh, wearing those outfits, and she really liked this dress very much. Yeah. It's very cool with the hood and the snake in front. Yeah. But you are also inspired by snakes, Marianne. Yeah. Why are you inspired by snakes? Are you a snake yourself? <laughs> I am. I like creepy animals. So here we also have another piece of art that you have done, Marianne. It's a beautiful doll that you painted in jello colors and also inspired by the snakes. So here is the first uh, body painting, Marianne, that you did. And this was 2014, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, Scandic Nord in Helsingborg. Yeah. In the Keller. Yeah. And we have never done this before. Not you and either did we join an event like this when you did the painting. It took seven hours yeah. to finish. The first time you were doing your exhibit in our hotel, in the restaurant, that was the first time you showed your art in a hotel. You have never done that before. You have never exposed your uh, art in a restaurant. In a restaurant, you have always shown your art in your own gallery here in town. No, I have exhibited in uh, Stockholm and uh, Westeros. Okay. Yes, in a gallery. So, uh, but it was the first time in a hotel. Yeah. Yeah. And we had an amazing start because yeah. this was really the first time that I lift the art into the hotel and we let the people and the guests and the visitor enjoy when they were sitting in the restaurant yeah. and they liked it very much. Yeah. This is really the beginning of the journey. Yes. It took us 10 years further yes. with the art. Yes. yes, it did. At least in Kristianstad yeah, yeah. and for me and for many artists. So, do you remember the beginning with the journey with the oh. La Grande Bé, La Grande Bébé? Of course I do. I will never, never forget it. No one will forget No. <laughs> Let's hope so. Let's hope so. I remember that the, the artist Jonathan Hayner, he showed the, the big uh, La Grande Bébé the first time in Michigan, in the United States. They had a huge exhibition there, a competition, and he didn't want it. And that was the reason I asked him if he still had it and if it was interesting to join Krihwansta for mm -hmm. Eastern yeah. 2008. So you remember how that meeting started that time? Shall we put a doll on the... <laughs> yes. In the town? A in the main square. Yeah, in the yeah. main square. And uh, that would be a nice thing to do to, to market the town. Don't put so many ads in the paper. Put a big doll on, on the main square instead. Yeah. And we did, did we did, did 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 we make it? Yes, <laughs> we made it. <laughs> and we could still be in Krihwansta after we used it uh, and yes. showed it. But it was uh, discussed. Yeah, of course. Uh, a lot of people thought that maybe you shouldn't put that much money in in art. But I thought it was uh, a nice way to to show that we're in an art area. Exactly. Mm. What I think today, uh, it's a pity we were a bit too early. Imagine yeah, maybe, today yeah. with all the Instagram posts exactly. we would have gotten. Yeah. But there were there, there still is uh, pictures on Facebook and so yeah. on. I know because when I add these uh, old pictures we have from Lagrange B, B on the main square, uh, I add it on Instagram and Facebook, and people say, "Hey, what's this? What's going on? Yeah. We already <laughs> done it." <laughs> You're too late. Too late. <laughs> too late. Yeah, already done it. Yeah. So this is the my 10 years anniversary working with the art since I started in Krihwansta. Yes. And uh, next year we have the 10 years anniversary of the Eastern exhibit. Uh, 
Do you think a lot of things has been changing those 10 years when it comes to the art in our town, if you compare Krikwansta with other cities in the south part of Sweden? I think um, the big art exhibition for Easter yeah. started in, in, well, south of Krikwansta. Yeah. And today there is art exhibitions uh, during Easter in all of Skåne. Yeah. But I think what we did the first year with the art exhibition in yeah. Kristianstad because mostly it's uh, artists outside of town they have uh, they are working in, in their houses and so on but this made art come to town as well yeah i think so too. and and we do you remember we were talking about it's a way for people without a car exactly to, just take to, a walk yes you can take the train to Kristianstad and walk around and and still yeah be able to see a and lot that of art. and that is still a success because every year now people are coming with the train mm. they have a glass of wine on the train or they just take a walk take a walk in the city yes. or they stay with friends and families a few days mm. and i think also uh, the difference between Krikwansta and other uh, galleries and studios around eastern is that when we do this huge eastern exhibition we have artists from the whole world join joining. Hmm. I mean, I think it's very important that you make it international, that you're not only working with a Swedish artist, you let India, Portugal, United States, hmm. Africa, wherever you come from, you can uh, join the Eastern. Hmm. You make, make it very international. Yes, and it's nice uh, to have all kinds of art to, to make people curious and people who don't know that much about art. Exactly. They, they get uh, interested and maybe they want to know more about art. I know we discuss that a lot exactly. because we have um, uh, the art hall in Kristianstad with um, famous artists. Yeah. But maybe it's too difficult for someone who doesn't know art. And, exactly. and then we have all these other things happening yeah. that might get people interested and think, ah, art might be something for me as well. Exactly. And imagine that you started as a housekeeping manager, yeah. starting up with the, with the paintings, and now you're sitting here with a But that goes hand in hand with, with everything, if you look back. You, you like to do nice things in the rooms, with the curtains, with the yeah. chairs, the sofa. You like to decorate, you want to have a nice view to show to the people and the guests who comes. Yeah. And then you have to work forward the whole time. Yeah. Because, because you, you do all the decorations. Yeah, but you know yourself. You don't want to be in the same spot the whole time. You no. have to have a better spot and, and to get to know more people. And to be challenged. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we couldn't challenge ourselves so much in Grand at the no, end. No, no. Because when you have done 10 years, what can you more do? Yeah. Then you have to do... You needed more space. Yeah, I needed more space. And I think it's important also when you work in a company like we did, uh, you doesn't have all these free wings so you can fly away and do whatever you, whatever you want to do. No, exactly. Because for me, I think there are no... I mean, the goal can be as high as you want. You can reach any goal in your life if you want to. It's yeah. always up to yourself. Yeah. If you want to reach the highest goal, you will do it. Yeah. No problem. I always tell that about you to, to people that doesn't know you. That you are the, pe the the person that if even if you had your desk like this, yeah. you just waved about <laughs> behind it and just okay, just put it on top. I will do it. <laughs> no problem. It we didn't even... No, I don't have the time. It was always yeah. But you're working the same, Annika. You're the yeah. same person. You never say no because you want to challenge yourself and you don't want to say no. No, I don't. I don't want to say no until I tried. No, I exactly. have to try first to know if I can. Because say that's no. how you grow as a person, also. Yeah. If you try it, you can also learned a lot of new things you didn't have had to learn if you didn't try it in in the winter time no in the autumn 2013 we started my first crazy project um, with art and fashion and i just had How the idea that? yeah i just had the, i got the idea in the car to italy <laughs> really <laughs> just wow. like that in june <laughs> in june and we started in I september from the beginning. How it was did, crazy how did it happen it happened, uh, the reason that, uh, you know Rora from Los Angeles, the yes. artist? Yes. He had been painting my clothes for a couple of years, my high heels and my 
t-shirts and my skirts and everything. And I was thinking, why don't we do some kind of a show or put uh, outfits together with the artists, paintings, and we do something cool. And I was just thinking all the long way to Italy, how could we do this? I was thinking, okay, if we, we just could be like six, seven models and two or three outfit, outfits each, yeah. and then we leave those outfits over to the artist yes. after the dress ma uh, maker has done her work. Maybe we can do a show out of that. Yeah. But at that moment, I really did, didn't think about music. I didn't think about coordinated. I didn't think about what, how we will show it. No. I just had the idea. And when I had the idea, I invited the artists, the dressmakers, the models, and I told them the story, how I wanted it to be represented. And after a while, all the music come together with the hip hop. Yeah. And that's also the reason we did this was because of the foundation for Tim, my son. Yeah. I was thinking I need to do a huge thing for Tim to get money for the foundation I started. <coughs> so that's also why I decided to have all the money for 2014 for the shows going to Tim's foundation for young young yeah. teenager. And the teenager is, is from 13 to 23 years old. So we did five shows that year, you remember? Yes. Do you remember, remember the first the first show? The first in show. In Kronohuset. When we walk out on that yeah. news day. Yes, you were in the you were in the newspaper. Yes. You are always yes. in the newspaper. <laughs> I every Easter, <laughs> every Easter, the newspaper put Annika in the newspaper. I think she it was is always the, there. I had the ball. Yeah. Uh, swinging. Yeah, and the year after you had this. Uh, yeah. What do you call it? A speed ball. Yeah. <laughs> and I it's remember that you presented me for the next year. Yeah. We have some English people participating in the show. Yeah. And you were going around the gang to present us. Yeah. And when you came to me. You said, and this is uh, my very old friend Annika. She's very good with the balls. <laughs> and they just okay, <laughs> good. A great. secret she didn't want to tell you, <laughs> but I tell you now. <laughs> That's her. People have so many expectations. They're sitting. What are you doing now? Yeah. What yeah. I have Can I now? join? Okay. And the whole yeah. time you have to shake. Are you coming? Are you doing that? Yes, we're coming. We're doing. But the yeah. whole time you have to shake. Are they really coming? Yeah, and I think that's that's why so many people want to work with you because you you get that feeling. Nothing is important. You never you can can't whine when you're when I'm with you. No, but because. That's... You have so many ideas yeah. and you're so positive. Yeah, and you, and you need to challenge yourself so the many whole time. Yeah. yeah, because you live today, not tomorrow. You might be gone tomorrow. You never know that. Yeah. Everybody thinks about tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow is not what we have. Today is what we have. Yeah. So what do we bring out of this day with the art, with the show, with the music, with the the exhibits? What do we do with it? We do what we can today. And yeah, yeah. If there are no tomorrow, we have done what we what the best we could today. Yeah important to bring these young people when you do the shows and ex exhibitions. Yeah. You bring them with you the whole time. Yeah. So you get to, you, you challenge yourself and it's good. Yeah. It's do good. you think it's, it's, it's different? It's a different audience with art? The, uh, the, the age? Of, yeah, yeah I, think, but I think it's different. I, I think we have both young people and we have older people. But yeah. if you look at the crew, you know yourself, people are from 18 to mm. 50. Mm -hmm. And I think it's good to have that space in, the, in a crew when you work close together because we can learn from the young people and the young people learn from the old people. Yeah. And I think it gets a very good, uh, uh, what do you call Mix. Mix, yeah. yeah. When you use this kind of ages. Yeah. So what did you learn from all those years with the art? That you never buy uh, anything from Ikea now. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely no. not. <laughs> we, go, we go to Art Castle. We can buy I have a horse and I have three kids. I yeah. don't buy anything. <laughs> no, exactly. There are no paintings. I just make it I myself. Need, so yeah. I, that. I, I have to come with paintings too. Though. Yeah. No, but I I, uh, I was was inspired. I like too to I buy a lot of old furniture and yeah. make them so they're looking nice. Yeah. And that's, I think, from inspire, inspiration from you. Yeah from this mm. and uh, also with the shows 
I like to be on stage. Yeah. And, uh, you're really an actor on stage. You're one of the best. Oh, thanks. Yeah, but you know that. No. Yeah, but, uh, you know. You said it with totally Yeah, before. everybody <laughs> says You can see when you're on stage, you, you, you have your place there. That's yeah. why you should say goodbye to the hotel. <laughs> yeah. My place is in Las Vegas. Oh, in that's the probably shows. why I, I like being a teacher. Yeah. Because you can say it's like being on stage. Yeah, you that's true. Talking to people yeah. for people or show what you can. It's really yeah. nice. So that's a really good thing. And all the people, of course, they are really yeah, that, you you, that you met yeah. during the shows. You meet so many nice people. Yeah. Photographers, makeup artists. Yeah. But you are an inspiration backstage. as a person. You are an inspiration because you're always so positive, but you had a tough time. A lot of times you yes. had a tough time, but you're always full of energy and visions, and uh, you never, never no, stop. I, but I have always been that kind of person. Like a force, a nature force, just yeah. coming through. How do you think the the art has cha changed you as an artist in ten years? if you look back when you and I started to work together and how you look at the art today, 10 years after. How has it changed you as an artist, as a person? Because the art makes you very happy and bring a lot of things to your life. I feel very much strong and I have more happiness. And before I had my children and my work. Now I'm a 50 years old and I can do what I want. And I have, uh, I have much time for the painting and I have uh, lots of uh, ex exhibitions. Uh, but it was you, Rebecca, that made me start. Yeah, but you came, you, came as a very you, you came as a very fresh uh, flower to the hotel when you came with your art because the, the art was really powerful and very lively. You remember this huge painting? Yes, I remember. <laughs> no one will forget, especially not you and the Marianne and the other artist. <clears throat> Do you think like love is art, color your heart? That's still the good slogan for the artist. Absolutely. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and you did this big ballerina. Yes. Do you like to paint with a lot of artists together on a big paintings? Yes. It's wonderful. Yeah. Because we did that also in my art boutique in Beck, where we were a lot of artists doing big paintings. Do you think it's nice that, that artists can work together? Yes. All the different styles. Yeah. And all the colors. And all the colors. Uh, and, and I think the, the art in the streets and all that, you know, the uh, official arts, uh, that's good. That's good in Kristianstad. It's it's, uh, it's live, uh, but then it's just one uh, Kunsthall. It's yeah. uh, just one big showroom for art. Uh, it should be more, uh, and, and you you do what you can do. Uh, yeah. But there should be galleries, and there should be more, I think. And, and they could also uh, m make some increases of the uh, uh, of, of the museum. Yeah, give them some more yeah. money so they can employ or they could show more. It's just about three or four uh, shows every year. What do you think about when we show the art in, in, in public places like restaurants and hotels compared to in galleries where, it's, where the impression can be much more quiet, quieter than you have in a hotel and restaurant? Mm -hmm. Do you think it's a good area yeah, and good spot for people to watch the art? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought when you started. Ten years ago? Yeah, ten years ago now. It, it was in a hotel. Yeah. And I really love that to get into different rooms or in the corridors and, and or the elevators or whatever. Uh, and you find art. You f that's surprising and yeah. it's lovely. So that's good when you can surprise people and when you can show that art is not just something that you have to go to specific rooms to see. That's true. It can surprise you and you can get surprised by it. I always talk a lot to guests when I visit the hotels and I do the change mm. and people are very impressed that the hotel is, is a little bit culture and they show art because mm. people like to have something to do mm. when they come to mm. the hotel mm. as they usually not have and then they can look at the art and, and have a little exhibition yeah. around in yeah. the hotel mm. and that's very good. Mm. Uh, that's true and you have different examples of that. Every hotel have, have yes, artists. Yes, always, always. Mm.
but that was good. Yeah. Mm. What do you think uh, when when I bring so many yeah. different uh, um, different countries together on Eastern? Do you think it's a good idea? Yeah, yeah, it is because just as I said before, Kuhansta is a part of, of the world. It's not yeah. an island. Uh, so, so, so that is, of, of, of course, I like it, uh, and and you like the mix. You, yeah, you, I like to work. You do love colors, and yeah. you do love yeah. uh, great expressions and all that. So uh, I understand that. You I do think that. It, I think it's very important that you work internationally because the world is full of many people from different mm. countries mm. with different pattern, different techniques. Yeah, I'm. Um, um, that what can surprise me is that they know about you or yeah. about Anstad and that they want to be here yeah. because they have, as I said, you have millions of of towns that are bigger than Kruhansta, so but You know, you have to take them by storm in the right <laughs> moment <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and capture them and let them come to the city. But yeah. people really appreciate because uh, it's very exotic for people from Portugal or United States or mm. like India to come to a little town mm. in the south part of Sweden mm. and to join a huge exhibit mm. like the one we have on mm. Eastern here. Mm. So but I, I think it's good. Mm, mm. But for you, as I see it, uh, you like when it's many. Yeah. You I like do. the numbers. Yes. Uh, so for me, it can be too much sometimes. Yeah. But then I can turn around and see exactly. something else. Yeah. I, I think today it's a very lively art lively. scene. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's it, it's a mix. Uh, uh, you have paintings, of course, but you have a lot of sculptures. You have sound sound arts and uh, uh, video arts yeah. uh, and. Uh, so, so that's great. And you have political uh, artists, and and you have those who just want to make beautiful art, paintings, and so on. So you can show art in uh, many different and, ways. And it's very important when you every person lives somewhere. Yes. And that's course. my surrounding or my home, or say in Germany, Heimat. And that's very important to see that also in Kuhansta you have you have great artists in yeah. Kuhansta and in the south part of Sweden. Uh, it's no problem to find good artists or good work here. Uh, so it's not just Luciana that's good, no, of or what I show the world famous. Uh, I, I have a lovely piece. You have Scorn, you have Clay Ketter, I remember now. Yeah. You have, uh, yeah, it's a huge audience mm. uh, coming to us and ask about the art, how mm. the ar artists made all this kind mm. of very uh, crazy and cool outfits. Mm. People had a very big interest. The same in Hamburg, people were very interesting, but we don't have the same interest in here in Sweden. No, that's people possibly, don't, possibly true. They yeah. don't really understand what we are doing. Mm. But do you really have to understand what you're doing with <laughs> art? Who no, tells you to no, say no. you have to do that? No. For me it's very important that, I, of course I like to, to think about what I see and yeah. to understand some ways also. But the feelings is very important. Yeah. Both in music or in art or what I read or so on. It's I like when I when I get feelings for it. Yeah. Uh, for and, and maybe fashion and art in Sweden is not so big. I don't know. Uh, in Stockholm and Gothenburg now mm. we have uh, many interests from mm. bigger cities. Yeah. This time, uh, uh, the show is Great Planet of Apparel Art. Mm. So we. We want to show the audience how we destroy the world and how we then we build the world as a green planet again. Yeah, as, as a look at the world in a different way. Yeah, yes, of well. course. That was very nice of you to say that build a green, green world together. Yeah, I, I think it's important to show mm. that and and also to make the audience understand what we are doing because mm. people sometimes don't understand and mm. here the message is very clear. But for me. Uh, I have noticed the last ten years yeah. that that our section, like art and writing and, and music and so, it's getting more and more important. Yeah. Uh, more people are interested. More young people are getting into it. Yeah. Uh, it's a it's a yeah, it's a way to grow like a person and to understand the world and to uh, express thoughts about the world. And uh, and we are getting better in the world. Yeah. Even if you have, uh, yeah. Oh, I don't say what I thought to say. <laughs> but we have some persons that are not so good today, yeah. and we have racism so growing and all that. Yeah. So, but but I think it, the young people, I I really hope, I, I'm hopeful about them. There and, are many and young people. And culture, it's yeah. yeah, it's getting more important. <laughs> So Christine, 
You have traveled you. with me and the art for seven years now, with our queen. So what did you fill this luggage with for seven years? You've done all incredible art in the world. In the world? Right? Yeah, in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I have filled my luggage with um, acrylic paintings, uh, graphic paintings, um, torsos, the lamps, uh, yeah, a, lot of, a lot of things here in your studio. So it's trays, cushions, and you always coasters. like to you always like to work with a lot of colors, not yes, so much I love black color. and white. No, I love color. Uh, some black and white because uh, that's uh, uh, stands for the the graphic in me. But you are very inspired by the faces. How come you are so inspired with faces on the pillows and the, and the trays? Uh, actually, it's mostly the eyes, because I think the eyes captures your soul. And you know, all these nice things that you love. <laughs> of course, always, <laughs> always. No, it's just the, the, um, the eyes. Uh, you can see so much in, in people's eyes. Do you think you have grown as a person and, and as an artist for those seven years now when you have been working so much and intensive with the art? Of course, of course. I also have my art agency, so I um, have uh, classes, art classes, and also some workshops. So, of course, I go... Um, the municipality in Kristiansad uses me for uh, elderly, elderly arts classes older people they want to go in classes like that and try to paint. yeah it stimulates them that's very good mm -hmm. really nice and you also have a cooperation with another artist how is that to work with another artist because you do those uh, torsos we can see some of them here yeah, one here one here too and here's one yeah and there's one on the wall here Yes. Why did you start to do those torsos? How did you come up with that idea of doing this? Because those the torsos, got, yeah, those got really famous. People like them very much. Uh, I can tell you about the the, the pregnant torso. Yeah. Uh, we wanted to do something uh, for the maternity hospital, and we had. Uh, we had a lot of uh, experience by trying to do a pregnant woman without a model. But I can tell you, it didn't work. It's too complicated. It was too complicated and it's too cold because we, was out, we were outside the whole time. So we got one hairdresser. She was pregnant and uh, we used her as a model. And after Six hours of modeling with uh, clay and um, and uh, at the hospital. Almost a full day with this? Almost a full day. And she gave birth to a son after a few hours after we were done. Yeah, so that was very good work. Yeah, so I think we started her. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so do you, do you think life begins after, after coffee or after art? After art, yes, of, course. of course, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Stupid question. Always do what makes you happy. That's most important. Yes. It's always so, important to come up with new ideas. Yes, it is. So, so what now, you, what new do you have for this Easter, two thousand seventeen? Do you have some new? My jewelry. <laughs> Your jewelry. Have to take a better look on the jewelry. Show here and the rings. Yes. Yes. Of course. That's. That's my design. As Charles Ims says, the details are not the details, they make the design. Exactly. So. And you did also start to work in black and white. You didn't say so much about the black and white. Why did you start to do the black and white? Because you, um, you mix it together, then you have the, with, the, with all the colors. Because I think it's a good combination. Black and white, you can take this uh, Merlin uh, cushions. This is in, in black and white, and it also comes in color, yeah. and you can combine them. Yeah, you really can do that, Christine, that you have joined, and this time now is the, it's the, it's the third time you're joining. 
Do you think that's a huge challenge as an artist? Of course it is. I mean, it's it's a lot of fun to do uh, challenge, challenging things. Like uh, for now, for this year, we got... Uh, that's the dress you did for Osa. You were also inspired by the faces in that dress. Yes, it all, always has been the faces. Except for my first painting, it was a, a house of uh, Goofy. Of Goofy, okay. <laughs> of Goofy. <laughs> but you, you think you have uh, changed a lot uh, when you started, if you look at the project 2013 and you look at 2017 now when we have the premiere, do you think you have changed as an artist very much? Um, you have challenged yourself very much. Do you think it's easier now or is it more difficult to join a project like this? No, it's more easy, uh, I think, because uh, you're getting used to all the different challenges. Yeah. And, um, and now we have this, um, what we say, you use recycled material. You don't yeah. recycle, you upcycle the material. And that's what I like. Because in my, in my um, business, I use a lot of um, recycled material. Yeah, and it's important and to it's work all, with it. Yes, and also eco-friendly materials. Yeah. So that's important to me. So. Of course, it's always very important. Here we also have some beautiful photos with your pillows in, uh, in the sofa. And this is also one of the, the sculptures that you did paint uh, for Easter. Mm. And we have enjoyed, uh, jo when we have used them for a couple of years after. And you are also sitting together with me in my son's foundation, Tim Anderson's foundation, together with Lisa and Marianne. Um, what do you think about that? Do you think that's a good thing we do for young people with the Tim Foundation? It's, it's a very important uh, thing to do because it's a lot of people, young people, who doesn't feel very good. So if we can make a change, that's a good thing. And you also did uh, one of the, I think it was the second, second um, artwork you did for uh, Fredrik, uh, for Tim's foundation here. You made a portrait, if I'm not wrong. Should yes, I did. It somewhere I did. Here? And a, a face, of yeah, course. Yeah, a face, of course, <laughs> because you're always inspired by the face. Mm -hmm. Is it difficult to, to paint faces? Because you, you, you just made, made up those ideas with the faces? Yes. Um, the ideas about these faces just comes from uh, my imagination. So it's... It's an inspiration from my whole life, I guess. And you, of course, also like to use pink a lot. Um, and that's my favorite color. <laughs> and that's very good. So I, I'm very... Pink, pink is a happy color. Yeah, it's a happy color. So you have at least one happy customer that likes to have pink. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's very good. And you have also a lot of pink in your paintings. And that, I think, is amazing because uh, that color makes people happy. So we have your name, Christine Brown Betty of Sweden. So tell me, how did you come up with that name? Because... What I didn't know since for a while ago was when I saw a recipe that you had on a, on a card about Brown Betty. So you tell the story about Brown Betty because that's pretty interesting. And it's a very nice logo you have with the diamond and, and the name is very cool. So tell the story. Uh, the story about the name or behind the name is that uh, when I was starting my business uh, we were just brainstorming a name and I didn't want to have a name like uh, uh, Chris, Design of Chris or Art by Chris or something like that. I wanted to have something uh, a little bit different and uh, it was a rainy September night and uh, we decided to have to make a, an apple pie, so we went on Google and to find a recipe, and there it was, apple brown Betty. So 
the name was clear from Betty of Sweden because we live in Sweden. But and it, all, almost all of my products are made in Sweden. But it was something about Ronald Reagan and Nancy, the President of the United States. It was a story about them. Yes, they, this was the, the apple brown betty was their favorite uh, dessert. Okay. When they was, were living in the White House. Because you joined the first time 2011 in the spring. Yes, yeah. yes. But have you done exhibits before we met? No, no exhibits. That's the first one. That's the first one. Yeah. And then you also join for, for the autumn or the fall, as we said before, uh, with the, your own exhibits after Eastern. Yes. So you, had, you have seven years of experience now. Yeah. Good experience. Yes, of course. Good, very good experience. I have uh, a lot of um, exhibits during these seven years and uh, I'm very grateful for working together with you. You learn a lot from each other. Yes, we do. One, and we have person. a lot of fun. Yeah, we have a lot yeah. of fun. And that's the most important because if you have fun, <laughs> you can make miracles.